my wife Shalom. This is the brother Kaya from Jim Mr. New Orleans coming back at you with another quick ride and talk. Prior to getting started, as we always do, I'd like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Mahashim Yahweh Shai, Mahashim Rakah Hakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Akim that's pushing the truth and sincerity. Lord willing, this video will be edifying first and foremost to the whole field, then to those that cleave to the body. And it's gonna be a short epistle of a dry, uh, you know, quick, real quick, ride and talk on, on uh, just understanding what's going on. All right, it's many devices in the world, all right, that tend to pull that jake and uh, cause jake to sometimes uh, not keep a, 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 you know, stay on top of things such as things going on in the body, in the church, sometimes you might uh, fall victim to not watching what's going on in the world. You know, shit, a hurricane might be coming straight to your direction, you're not paying attention. But this is uh, epistle on just staying locked in, you know? Staying locked in, you know, being aware, having a sense of awareness, because uh, the time is short, right, as we do, comprehend the time being short there's a level of responsibility that comes with us having to uh, having to maintain a certain level of, of watchfulness a certain level of, uh, of on point all right and just to really understanding what the truth is all about because we as we you know uh, continue to quest to keep up with the spirit it goes the spirit goes where it is enlisted all right, and sometimes it's, you know, it's hard for us all. So it's not like it's an epistle out to any brother. So, you know, the, when we do do lessons, we do them concerning ourselves as well. You know, we may be uh, getting overtime at a job or, or something. We, you know, when we're putting in more work at in other places, we tend to lose focus in the things that matter and count the most, you know. We might forget the, we might, we might forget the report, uh, something up in the body that you know even though we may consider us a small thing all right you know but it didn't get reported up and now communication is uh off off scale all right you see we may we, we may we may overload ourselves with uh tasks and duties you know we may forget to put a uh, put alarm clocks you know uh timers on you know uh, lessons and conference calls and different things like that because we're uh you know we 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 bombarded we're bombarded with you know just things in the world man uh for you know just the forgetfulness of of things man cause it because there's no excuse all right and there's no excuse for not being on point for what you gotta handle in the ministry now i'm talking more or less of things going on in the ministry that we have to remember and be on point with than anything else, because again, we know how serious this thing is, man. All right, I'm, I'm gonna start off with this, okay? Because we, right now, you know, there's no there's no room for excuses, all right? If you got an excuse, that means you're in the error, you're walking in the error of your life, man. And that's, that's just how pivotal it is, right? Excuses are pivotal right now. That's what I'm gonna name this thing. Excuses are pivotal right now because there's no room for them, all right? All right, let me make sure. Make sure I, okay. Okay, yeah, this, uh, So Rock 22 and I started <clears throat> Oh this is good. Let's start at 14. It says whoso feared the Lord will receive his discipline. And being disciplined, alright, <clears throat> requires a great deal of repetitive uh repetitive repetitiveness. Alright? What steady repeating and steady doing the same things over and over and over. Whether you feel like, whether you forget, all right, all the way up until remembering, all right? 
And they that seek him early shall find favor. So there's favor and discipline. Okay? And when you, whenever you become undisciplined, there's really no excuse for it. Right? Because, I mean, to say what's, what's at stake here, all right, you, we, we can't afford uh, we can't afford to, to, to constantly be making silly mistakes, man. All right, I know it sounds crazy, right? Because we still gonna make them, but that don't mean we can't afford it. All right, because what it does, it'll 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 cause you to get in a a, a habit which is not conducive to um, progress, man. All right, it's gonna impede your progress. Then when it impedes your progress. You're gonna get it mad, you're gonna get upset because you're gonna be like, man, these things are so little and I should just remember. You know? It says, it says, he that seek the law shall be filled that way. All right? And the law give us, it govern us, it give us control over matters, and make us remember the things we supposed to, that we have committed to. All right? And remembering the things you committed to gonna uh by default keep you up on game all right so you seek and you know you you using diligence a level of diligence in, in, in what you're doing and remembering the lord all right it says but the hypocrite would be offended direct all right so when you're a hypocrite of of seeking doing keeping a diligent search and uh, uh keeping the you know the law first the things that matters above all things Okay, a hypocrite would be offended there at you know they get you know pissed off because of because of because of the discipline, the nature of the discipline. You see, it says they that fear the Lord shall find judgment. All right, so as we fear the Lord, we're gonna find judgment. Judgment uh, allows you to make those decisions according to how you're supposed to be making them, all right. You ju you judicial, all right, which by default makes you a decision maker, a, a, a prompt decision maker, all right? You're always on it. It says it shall kindle justice as a light. This is the point. A sinful man will not be reproved, but find it an excuse according to his will. So, you know, excuses are so pivotal, all right, to, to, to what we're trying to accomplish here right now, to the fact you gotta, you gotta almost not have an excuse, man, all right? But no man want to have an excuse because it's a is a is embarrassing, all right, for what they not getting done, because Jake always getting done the things that we know he don't have an excuse for. So when we start to you know name be like man Jake don't got excuse for the woman, he don't got excuse for the job. So why do we have excuse for the ministry in any way? All right, there's just no excuses for the ministry, you know. That goes out to myself, and it goes out to every brother. It's un, you know, it's un, 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 it's you know, it's completely unacceptable. Okay, I jumped to verse twenty. Go not in a way wherein thou mayest fall, and stumble not among the stones. Be not confident in a plain way, all right? So don't be uh, too sure of yourself that you got this thing totally under control because that's when it'll, it'll slip from right under you, man, you know? And you'll be like, damn, I'm slipping. Then you'll look back on a pattern of how you've been slipping because you feel like, all right, you know, I do this thing. I ain't got to mark a, uh, I don't got to put a, um, a timer down for, for, for for conference calls or reminders or things like that and then you forget the call and then it's looking like like how you forget this man out of all the things in your life like how do you forget or be reminded that you have business to handle for the lord in the house of the lord man all right you know it's not a good look okay it's not a good look so that, you know, that pretty much was the point. You know, it was just something I had on my spirit on, 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 uh, just looking well till you're going right now, you know, 
A prudent man look well to his. I'm, let me get that. All right. This is uh <clears throat> Yup. This part verse 14 and 15, it says the simple believe it every word, but the prudent man look it well to his going. So as we have exercised prudence, all right, in the wisdom and the insight. What's the Lord give us in directions of, of handling business in the ministry? And in his truth, all right, it overrides excuses. You know? It overrides being lackadaisical, slothful in your business. Because when you don't remember things, by default, it make you look slothful. Even if you know you work and you handle business, man. Because you don't be slothful concerning the things of the world, man. And that's, that's your measuring stick. How you go about and do things, as crazy as this sound, how you go about and do things in the truth, it carries over to the world and vice versa. If you sloppy in the world, you probably sloppy in the truth. And we know the world don't have anything to do with that. And in some cases, it may not be that. You know, but for the most part, you know, the way, the way you know, things translate. All right, when you get in the habit of things or when you're doing things, all right, they tend to translate over. Good study habits tend to transfer over and what? Uh, good breakdown, edifying videos, you know, different things of that, of that magnitude, all right? Things tend to translate, so we got to what? Pay very close attention, man. We got to be attentive, all right, until what, you know, uh, uh, the truth requires. Overall over all things you know we just got to be more attentive and pay much more attention to well you know to what um the lord have given us you know as a as as a as that you know that actually rules that rules our entire life man all right that's the most eye-popping things in our life man the most concentrated things in our life you see we got to make sure we taking good heed to that, man. All right? You see? Let me get that. Uh. Uh. Is it? Let's see. First Corinthians 10 and 12. It says, Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed, least he fall. And that's the, you know, that's the that's the meat of the matter here. Alright. Taking heed, least you fall, man. Alright. And think you got this thing. You don't got this thing. Alright. You gotta walk around as if you've never got this thing, man. And that's the way you'll keep it. Because you'll know that there's something to hold on to. Alright. You'll know that's something that uh that's in your grasp. The only way you remember and hold on to something in your grasp is you forget it's not there. Alright? So I don't want to rock this out of was that a fine match. Next time I see Shalom.